So now let's uh, take a look at our problem one. So if f of x equals to sine x cubed, find f of 15, uh, zero, in other words, the 15th derivative of f. <laughs> at at uh, at x equals zero. So yes, that's an ep epic uh, question right there. All right, so let's take a look at the solution. So it, it would be far too much work to compute 15 derivatives of f. Uh, so the key idea is to remember that the nth derivative at zero occurs in the coefficient of x to the power of n in the Maclaurin series of f. So we start with the Maclaurin series for sine uh, from the earlier table above. Uh, so uh, going back here again, so notice that the, the nth derivative is is inside that uh, series. So if we go back to the McLaren series, because we're dealing with x equals zero. So there's a derivative right there, f of the nth derivative. So that was the first derivative, second derivative, et cetera. So we could, if we could find the coefficient of the 15th one, we could, we could just find a derivative at n equals to 15 of this uh, McLaren series like that. So let's look at the sine one, because we're dealing with sine. So sine is equal to this summation, but we'll just look at here, r is equal to infinity. You have x minus x cubed divided by three factorial plus x5. So the, it's always odd, and it's going from minus plus, minus plus, and yeah, and they're just odd power and odd factorial. So let's write that down. So sine of x is equal to, uh, it's gonna be odd power, so power of one, the next one's minus three, three factorial, plus x to the five, five factorial. And it keeps going on, it goes minus, plus, let's put it like that, dot, 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 and then r is equal to infinity. So for all x, it converges. All right, so now in our case, we're gonna be plugging in x to the power of three, because we have the sine x cubed there. So let's write that down in our uh, McLaren series. So sine of x, uh, cubed actually, it's a, yes, sine of x cubed, put the bracket, x cubed, this equals to x to the three minus, well, x to the nine, three factorial. And the next one is gonna be plus x to the 15, so five times three, over five factorial minus plus dot, dot, dot. And then uh, again, this can be r is equal to infinity. All right, yeah, so we have the series like that, but again, recall the definition of the McLaren series, we have summation from n equals zero to infinity, and then you have the f n factorial of zero times x power of n divided by n factorial. Notice that the n matches up with the power and the factorial. And so then that means, yeah, so when you keep going on here, this just over here just means you have a, a lot of cancellations, either, they, either they're zero or they subtract and they cancel. Or they combine two, etc. That's why there's, they're missing a whole bunch of x power 14, etc. So, what that means is, well, this is uh, x to the 15. That means uh, that's the, the derivative is right over there. The uh, the 15th derivative is right beside it. So, and, and yeah, so that means that this part right here, but for n equals 15, let's put it actually like this, for n equals 15, matches with this one over five factorial. Thus, at the x to the power 15, we can determine the corresponding derivative. So f, of the 15th derivative at zero, divide this by 15 factorial, this equals to, I mean, yeah, times it by the x to the 15 now, this equals to one over five, yeah, this is gonna be right here. So that, that's a section over there, equals to one over five factorial, times it by uh, x to the power of 15, like that. All right, so this means, well, we could just cancel this out and then we can move this over to this other side. So what that means is the f of 15, uh, the, the 15th derivative at uh, x equals zero is equal to 15 factorial over five factorial. And uh, this just equals to, well, 15 times it by, let's write this all out, 15 times by 14 times by 13 times by 12, times by 11, times by 10, times by nine, times by eight, times by seven, times by six, and then times by five all the way, but then you're dividing by five times, uh, four times, three times uh, two, et cetera. And then if you plug this into the calculator, what you're gonna get is 10, uh, yeah, uh, 10, uh, I think, uh, billion, eight, nine, seven million, and then two, eight, six, 
thousand four hundred. My God, and that is the <laughs> fifteenth derivative at x equals zero. And uh, now let's just do a calculation check on this. So well, my OneNote has a built-in calculator. Uh, and uh, yeah, so you could just uh, type it around here, 15 times 14, et cetera, all the way to the six. And if you do this here, oops, let's go back here, uh, equals, yes, yeah, so it, it just uh, rounds up to one power of uh, one E times, uh, yeah, one E 10, this just equals to one times 10 to the power of uh, 10. And this is uh, right here. So <laughs> that's, that just rounds it up to, uh, basically 10, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So that's a 9 plus 1. Yeah, so that just rounds it up there. So we're on the right track, but we need a better calculator. Because, uh, yeah, just uh, it doesn't have, the calculator is not that good. Just rounds it up. And you can also do this 15 factorial divided by 5 factorial. You'll get the same thing. So since my OneNote calculator is not that precise, we could use the Google search alternative, uh, presearch.com, which pays out in pre-crypto currency so if you type it over here pre-search there as built-in calculator 15 factorial divided by fact five factorial you get this 10 8 9 7 uh 2 8 6 and then 400 yeah so that is uh correct and uh yeah before going further let's make a note uh, if you sign up for pre-search uh, just use my referral link right here so i get a few pre so just if you click here just to show you what it looks like it's pretty much like Google search, but uh, you earn pre. So it's a cryptocurrency token. Here's the calculator. And uh, so you just type in, it automatically brings up the calculator and so on. So yes, if you sign up, use my referral uh, referral code or link. And you can see the price here of pre goes up and down and so on. It's currently at, uh, at 7.9 cents. So yes, very, very interesting.